Come on, girl. My friend, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sir. Brother Dorkings told me about the wonderful thing you did. Oh, he talks a lot of nonsense. <laughs> no offense. None taken. None taken at all. Hey, stop! He's kids that'll watch! Don't hurt him, please! Meet us at the cathedral, Mr. Morgan. Watch, you little weasel! I don't know nothing! Hey, you! Why don't you leave the boy alone? What's it to do with you? I can hit a lot harder than you. I promise you that. All right, forget it. You sure? Hey. What? I don't know you. This is Downs? Oh, no. Not you. Get away. Huh? Now! I mean, I, hey, Help! Uh, Help! Hold on! This man is bothering now. me! Someone help me! Officer! Help! seen mushrooms with bigger brains. What do you want? I'm talking. Leave off me. Good day. Every day, it's a new challenge, Father. When I was younger, those challenges... Mr. Morgan! Uh, excuse me, Father. Sister, I got your cross. <gasps> You didn't. Oh, I did. Oh, I hope the boy... He's fine, physically. Mentally, he's a piece of work, but who am I to say? Brother Dorkins was right about you. You are the most wonderful man. Brother Dorkins is greatly deceived, I'm afraid, but I'm happy to help a little. Thank you. You see, it's a thing, but my mother gave it to me when I was a novice, shortly before she passed. You are the most wonderful man. Oh, excuse me, Father. Sister, enjoy your day. See, Father? Brother Dorcas.
You coward! We gonna talk about what you've done to my wife! You're a dead man! Somebody! I don't quite know why I did that. Because barbarity is boring, you know? It kept me amused some years. You must go, my friend, before the Jean de Marie arrive. Hey, you gonna do right by this fella's wife? You have done right by her. The little bird is free. Hmm. I am an artist, cowboy. I must do what I feel. Look, I have an exhibit at the gallery. You come, see what I mean. Go get yourself something to eat. Sir, I want you to have this. Thanks, friend. It's nice to give something instead of just begging. I hate asking for money like a goddamn worm. Hello, ma'am. How do you do? Dear boy. Yes, here I can't play at the tables on a Lanahassee River boat looking like this. Yeah? Not if you want to fit in so well that no one will realize you're there to rob the place. Now come on. Are we still doing that? Of course. We're going to fix you up so fine no one will notice a thing. Hello, can I help you, gentlemen? Yes, my friend here is in need of a new suit. Make this gentleman look like the duke he really is. It was the English's fault his grandfather had to emigrate. A That's very a good choice, sir. You can see the aristocrat in his profile. The he... Come on, let's get you to the barber. Sure. Good luck tonight, gentlemen. Herr Strauss has scoped the whole thing out. It's quite ingenious, actually. What is? The action he has planned. Indeed, it's not much of an action at all. You play cards and win. And you're going to bet very big and flamboyantly while you win. And everyone's going to think you're some new money from the oil fields come to lay it on thick and drunk. All the while, Herr Strauss will be signaling you in your line of sight. When you bust the place, they'll take you upstairs to pay you off. And that is when Javier comes in, and you take whatever you want. You don't think they might see an armed Mexican coming into the safe with me? Sure, they might, but perhaps not. You will see. The suspense is killing me. Oh, don't be so jaded. We both know this is just the kind of innocent fun you thrive on. Well, well, after the past couple of months, armed robbery don't seem such an innocent pastime. No, but we, you, all of us, will be done here soon. I hope so. Come on! My good man, could you smarten up my dear hick friend here? This unlikely fortune in the oil fields and learned himself not a lick of manners or gentlemanly deportment. 
Well, very good, sir. No, it's not good. Not good at all. Not if they're going to let him play big at the tables tonight. There, very smart. Come on, let's get to the docks. I've arranged some transportation for us. Hope you have a successful evening. George, to the Grand Corrigan, please. Grand Corrigan, sir. Well, look at you. From Toad, the Prince. Yeah, this is a bit much, ain't it? The coach? We can't winnie up there on horses like a bunch of countrified yokels. You're a brash oil man. Money to burn. Which reminds me, no shuffling and mumbling. Buff your chest out. Get outside yourself. Yeah, all right, all right. This ain't happening. So, who's the mark? Is he all right, by the way, the driver? Oh, yes. Don't worry. George and I go way back. It's a man called Desmond Blythe. Made a fortune in hosiery, of all things. <laughs> Likes to play fast and always keep some extra collateral in the safe upstairs. So, if Strauss is sitting behind him, how does he know what cards I got? He won't. But the dealer has recently become a very good friend of mine. Another one. Don't worry, Arthur. We're all the authors of our own good fortune. He'll make sure you get the right cards. What could possibly go wrong? <clears throat> Indeed. And what money am I playing with? Don't worry. That has all been arranged. Your chips? Ah, there she is. Come on. Okay. Arthur, leave any weaponry here. They'll search us when we get on. George, we'll collect these from you later. Very good, sir. Thank you, George. Good luck, sir. He's gonna be a lawyer. Oh, now wow. remember what I said, Arthur. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Yes, yes, believe me, I heard every word. Watch Strauss, listen to the dealer, and this should be a very lucky night. There they are. Gentlemen! How wonderful to see you. Arthur, you remember this pair of boys we met in New York? Come on, Jack. Champagne is on dear old Arthur. He's rich as can be and feeling luckier than a turkey that survived Thanksgiving. Hello, gentlemen. Hello, dear boy. Hey, partner. Come on, come on, let's head aboard. Drinks on Arthur. Champagne. I'm afraid we require all patrons to hand over their guns. Good time. The tables await. I'll go find myself a change of clothes. Okay. You seem unsure. Robbing a heavily armed riverboat without a gun tends to bring out the self-doubt in me. These people are virtually idiots. This is simple stuff. Now have a good time, but don't lose too much money or your wife is going to kill me. Whatever you say. Now, where can I get a cocktail? Take a seat, sir. Good evening, gentlemen. Arthur Callahan. Sorry I'm late. I had some uh, unfinished business at the bar. Hey, Desmond Blythe. Good evening. Not to worry. Welcome to the game, Mr. Callahan. Okay, gentlemen, let's play. I hope you're a player. Been too many cowards at these tables recently. Nothing less dignified than a man afraid to lose a little money. Look at this! Chips already stacked up, waiting for me. I like this joint already. We aim to please, sir. So, how are we all fared? Some better than others. If we all fared the same in life now, where would the fun be? Quiet. Wait, not. Desmond Blythe, the hosiery king. I should have brought my other wallet. 
Not my preferred title, but yes, you should have. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, my ladies. Mr. Blythe wins with three queens. <laughs> Goodbye, gentlemen. I guess it's just you and me now, friend. Yes, it is. Time to see if you're really the man you seem to think you are. Likewise, Mr. Blythe. So, what business are you in, Mr. Callahan? I'm an oil man, for my sins. Funny, I haven't heard of you. Oh, you will. You know, I thought about getting in a hosiery, but I just look better in a suit. I would stick to oil, Mr. Callahan. I don't think you have a future on the stage. You sound just like my wife. Interesting. They're cowgirls. <laughs> Shit. Shit. I guess my luck held. Is that you done? Done. Bust. Or, well, uh, you got something else to play with. Meaning? Well, I heard... Well, I heard there were some big boys on this boat. Maybe that's not you. No offense. Sit your hillbilly ass down. Why? I got a watch. Look at you. An expensive one. Real fine. Swiss. A Reutlinger, no less. It's in the safe upstairs. It's worth more than you. Okay. I trust you. Now play. As you wish. So, you must know Leviticus Cornwall, big oil man like you. Of course, we've crossed paths. I was fortunate enough to tour a little operation of his up in New Hanover. <laughs> I am 100% all in, Mr. Callahan. Don't worry, sir. Everyone is the author of his own good fortune. Well... Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Pair kings. Very good, but not good enough. Shit. Uh-oh. Yes, you little beauty. Hard lines, Mr. Blythe. Mr. Callahan wins with an ace-high diamond flush. God damn you! No offense. None taken. Well played, sir. Unlucky, Desmond. Now, forgive my lack of discretion, but, uh, where might I find this watch? It's upstairs. Shall we go and have a look? Why not? Gentlemen, please, cash yeah. these out for me. I, I started last week. Good. Sure. Perhaps you could escort us up to the office. Yes, of course, sir. Thank you. Follow me, gentlemen. Come with me, sir. You're having quite the night. Yeah, so far. I cannot believe someone gave a greaser a job. <laughs> we live in strange times. Personally, I wouldn't trust one with a gun, but fear not. I've got my own little lawgiver right here. Very good. Next. We'll be hiring Negroes. Yeah, I know, I know. I think you're going to like this watch, sir. I saw it earlier, and it really is a handsome piece. Foreign made, but you can't have everything. Indeed. Well, here we are. Just give me one second, sir. Of course, take your time. <laughs> Don't reach for that gun. Take his gun, Arthur. 
guess you were right. Only an idiot would give a greaser a gun. <laughs> idiot, huh? You in here is looking pretty good. How much is there? Must be a few thousand plus the watch. Nice. Now let's get out of here. Come on. Let's go meet the others. Sure. I reckon we've only got a few minutes to get out of here. If we're lucky. We got a gunshot. It sounded like one. Come on. And how exactly are we getting out of here? I ain't too sure. This is what tends to happen when you leave Trelawney in charge of planning. Oh, garnish no meat. Probably involve us dressing up as dancing girls and can cannon off the side. Nice uniform, by the way. Thanks. I'd give anyone a job these days. Anyway, we shouldn't give ourselves away until we know we need to. Maybe we could still blend into the crowd when it all goes crazy. Which it surely will. To the bar, senor! I hope you had fun, sir. <laughs> In the time of my life. You boys sure know how to put on a show. <laughs> That's wonderful. Ah, <laughs> look, there's your friend. Friend is not a no cheat, and I beg you to take back the insinuation. There he is. Now, oh, don't be a sore loser, friend. There's something I don't like about the pair of you. <laughs> There's plenty I don't like about you, but I have the good manners to keep my mouth shut. There he is! Shoot that man! <laughs> Never a dull moment. Yeah, that's one way of putting it. So, how much did we get? A few thousand, I think. Pretty good. Yes, indeed. And this watch, uh, apparently it's worth a bunch of Swiss, uh, a Reutlinger or something. Nice watch. Yes, it's a Reutlinger, all right. <laughs> we'll give it back then. All right, come on, let's get out of here.
I know you. Mr. I believe we've met. We have? At that ghastly party. Oh, Evelyn Miller. Unfortunately so, Mr. Arthur Morgan, at least sometimes. Uh, can I say something rude? Sure. The mayor thinks you robbed him. Oh, I, oh, to be clear, he, he wasn't very upset about it. He rather liked you. Okay. Do you, uh, well, I mean to say, uh, can you steal things? Is there a reason you're asking me to incriminate myself, Mr. Miller? Well, I'm sorry. Have you met? Uh, this is Rain's Fall, a great chief, and his son, Eagle Flies. Gentlemen? We saw you in the wagon train crossing the river at Cumberland Falls. And at the party, you were upstairs. Well, you have great powers of observation. As my people, if we are even a people anymore. We've fought hard. We've made peace treaties. And those treaties were broken. And we've been moved and punished and punished and moved. I'm sure. And now I am told we are to be moved again. Clearly contravening the peace treaty signed three years ago. This will lead to war. No, my son, it will not. We cannot fight another war. They have got stronger, and we have become far weaker, Mr. Morgan. Well, it's a bad business. It's to do with oil. I know it is, but I need the proof. I believe there were some prospectors who were on their land a few months ago who have filed reports with Leviticus Cornwall and the state government claiming huge reserves of oil under their land. So, you want me to try and steal it? Obviously they can't. <laughs> and even more obviously, I would be useless. <clears throat> Listen, I realize that it is a ridiculous request, but we're very desperate. Now, I'm not a do-gooder, Mr. Miller. Gentlemen, I'm very sorry for your predicament, but... I'm a working man. I got problems of my own. We will pay you very handsomely, Mr. Morgan. How much? I told you, they're all mercenaries. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's a price on my head in two states, my friend. The government doesn't like me any more than it does you. Like you, I've been running for as long as I can remember. And like you, my time here is nigh undone. We understand, and we will pay. Thank you. My son in a couple of days near. Okay. We are very grateful for your help. Gentlemen, that appointment with the senator. We should head over there. It's a waste of our time. And his. No. We must try everything. Come along. Hello. Mr. Miller, the counselor wants to apologize. He can see you now. We've been waiting I don't know how long. Or next month, if you'd like to reschedule. Come. Perhaps the senator won't mind waiting. Please. Oh. I need medicine. Oh. Oh. Hey. Oh. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh. We just tried that plan over there. It was like a gunshot. 
Oh. Number one with the pink flowers. Got it, little bastard. Steer clear. Thanks, mister. I owe you five. Some things you learn the hard way. Hey there. Hey, Arthur. Are you ready for Tahiti, Mr. Pearson? Tahiti, sure. Tahiti. I've never been to Tahiti. I've been to Bali. Thank you for your help with Miss Jackson. <laughs> Don't mention it, Miss Grimshaw. You're a fine man, Mr. Morgan. Sometimes, at least. Thank you. I think. Okay, I'll catch you later, then. Sounds good, Mr. Morgan. Oh, sure. She had half the town believing we were real estate investors from New England. How you doing, Mrs. Adler? How are you? Been quite a journey since I... Well, since I joined you fellas. Yes. And now you and Dutch have joined high society. My oh, lord above. Yeah, it seems so. I think my days in polite society are over. Well, I just saw Bill Williamson at a party at the San Denise's mayor's house. <laughs> if he can do it, anyone can. Will you get any leads? Yeah, I think so. You know so, Arthur Morgan. Come on, we need to talk. Mrs. Adler, will you... When are you gonna let me come robbing with you, Dutch? My lord, a few more like her, we could take over the whole world. Yeah, get it. <laughs> I ain't never robbed in a city before. Yeah, well, you leave the planning to me. You'll ride with me. Always. Is it just you and me? No, we'll need one more, I reckon. I say Lenny. Not Micah. Well, that depends if you want a massacre or a payday. No, I wish that there was something I could do to make the two of you get along better. Well, that's easy. Make him change. Very funny. What is that? <laughs> what the hell have they done to me? Look, there, the tree line. Everybody take cover! <laughs> or Disco Boys are coming! over there. Charles, take the side door there. Arthur, you take the windows in the back. Go! What the hell? He's now! 
Is everyone accounted for? I think. Hey! I said, is everyone accounted for? Okay? I think so. Except for Karen here. Uh, poor kid. Mr. Swanson, would you take this boy and bury him someplace near, but not too near? Of course. Charles, help me with the body. We need to get this place cleaned up. Mr. Pearson, Miss Grimshaw. Already taking care of it. Come on now, work. Como O'Driscoll. That man can really hate. So can I, Arthur. So can I. We need to get moving. Away from here. So we should start looking for another camp. You ain't thinking big enough, Arthur. You ain't seeing the vastness of our problems and our opportunities. I'm not sure I get you. You will, son. You will. Meet me near the trolley station. We got work. Shall we? Yep. <sighs> he saved my life, and I could not save his. Mrs. Adler fought braver than any of us. She is driven by powerful forces I scarcely understand. That's what love has done to her, I guess. Morning to you. Mr. Swanson. I can't believe those pigs did that to him. To Karen? He was such a gentle soul. Yeah, he saved my life one time. I'll miss him. 
You make the bastards pay, Arthur. If we get the chance, we surely shall. Okay, if there ain't no convoy coming through. All right, go for it. Shooting. <laughs> Woo! Got your eye in. You'll be a killer yet, boy. Shooting. Ah, that's why. We got some work to do. We're going to make you a killer, Let boy. me try. Oh, hell, someone showed up. What you looking at? March along. Wait a minute. Hey, crew. The band's on the <laughs> what you want? You okay? <laughs> Do I look okay? <laughs> no. You look awful. Ugh. Awful. Look at me. Useless. I wasn't born to this. I didn't deserve this. I used to be a gentleman. Jeremiah Compson. Compson Stead. Good for you. If that's anything to boast about. They took everything from me. Who did? They. And what did they take? My whole life. A whole way of living, a career. I stole a lot of things, but that's quite a lot to steal. Look at me here. 
Living in the shit in the mud. I'm sorry. <laughs> my old house. The house my grandfather built. It's all dilapidated and destroyed. Repossessed by the bank. I'm sorry to hear that. I was supposed to live a different life. Me too. If only I could get my old things back. Personal mementos, a watch, old pistol, my ledger. Where's this house again? Compson's Stead. It's a north of Scarlet Meadows. <laughs> Bank says I can't go near it. I'm living rough over by Aris Field. Well, if I'm ever out that way, I'll see what I can do. Time. Time is hell. By order of Judge Meredith Holden in the courts of the state of Lemoyne, we do hereby grant repossession of this property and all items here into the Bank of Roads. M. Holden, Judge Holden, Henrietta Blackley Clerk, November 18th, 1895. That's the old watch. Now the ledger and the pistol. April 2nd, 1870. Dear Mr. Compson, I'm afraid there's no more work for you down here at the plantation. I'm grateful for the help you've given us and the help your pappy and your pappy's pappy gave us before you. These are trying times for all of us. You are in our thoughts and prayers. Yours truly, Colonel J. Nixon. The ascent. Dear Jeremiah, there ain't nothing here any value. I wouldn't give you a nickel for it. Come by for a sup of whiskey anytime. Bill. Yes. I was sorry to hear of Betsy's passing. Things is easier up there for sure. Okay, where's all this old crap? Told you to stay away from the boy. He don't want this. Heck, 
None of us want nothing to do with you. France. Ah, a trap door, huh? <laughs> what you doing here? We found this place first. Yeah, easy. I'm just looking around for some things. Hmm. That old revolver yours? <laughs> Finders keepers. Ah! Son of a bitch! Oh, God damn it. damn it! Come on, Dan! Where are you going? Come on! Gonna get you! the ledger now. that. I was somewhere near Rhodes when they caught me. Till the day I die, I ain't gonna forget the sound of that dog barking in my heels. But I don't suppose that day gonna be far off yet. It was 50 lashings yesterday and 50 more to come. I don't think I can take any more. Man said he was doing his job. Funny kind of employment if you ask me, but I suppose you ain't. Lights fading, so that's it for now. I do hope I live to see the end of this war and justice win out. Ugh. June 64. God. They threw us away like, like shit on their boot. I'm... Oh, man. Oh, man. <laughs> you sh show some respect. I was respected once. I had a profession. You asked me to get you something. There's no bringing back what I want. I want my job, my pride, the respect accorded to a gentleman. What about this old crap? Huh? Things. Don't you understand? Those bastards, they changed everything. I was a good worker. I took pride in my work. They, they, they took it away. Pissed on my legacy. Oh, man. Some jobs ain't for saving. And some legacies? Oh, they are for what pissing What are you doing? That's, that's my history. Damn you! Damn you! 
you. I still exist. So up now. Yep. Help the blind! Help a blind man! There you go. <laughs> that which is killing you will help you finally to see. And see clearly, friend. See and hear. Okay. I ain't too sure what to make of that. Are you still here? What are you waiting for? I can't tell you what you want to hear. Don't waste any more time oh, with an old blind man.
came. Of course I came. Said I would. There's a foreman. His name is Danbury. Is the files in the office above the refinery room. It's that window with the blind drawn up. I see it. If the files are as incriminating as we believe, Mr. Cornwall's men will destroy them if they know you're coming. There's only one of me, son. I don't intend for them to know I'm coming. What will the files say? There'll be a report from Leyland Oil Development Company. And you got the money? Yes. Any ideas how I sneak into this place? You could crawl under the fence or hide in a wagon. They keep rolling in. I'll go take a look. If there's a problem, call for me. I thought the whole point was that this had nothing to do with you. Ideally. If you are quick, you could climb into the back of that wagon. the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then. You are quick. You could climb into the back of that wagon. Otherwise, you'll have to sneak past the door. Supposed to meet the early train to San Denis. Okay. Better get a move on then.
start loading up. Must be damn Barry. Who? <clears throat> what? Quieten yourself, friend. This won't take long. <clears throat> damn Barry. Yes. I need some papers, my friend. Nothing important. A file. I'm from head office. You're not from head office? <clears throat> Does that seem important right now? No. I need a file by the Leland Oil Development Company. The one about the oil near Wapiti. I... I... Danbury. Think, man. Mind is a terrible thing to lose. Especially over <laughs> such a nice I... floor as this. It's here! It's here! You done good, Danbury. Real good. They'll give you a promotion for this. No. Danbury. Tell the guard you're fine. Yes, it's just... I'm working. All's fine. Now stay quiet. Or head office will send me back to get you. Fellas. Now, we won't tell you again.
documents. Yeah, but we need to get the hell out of here. Mount up and follow. I was happy to watch some of that oil burn. So you met Mr. Danbury? Yes, don't worry. He was very obliging. <laughs> I thought you wasn't getting involved. Thought you were going to enter and leave silently. Thank you. You saved my life. Thank you. I hope. Well, I don't know what I hope. But who knows? Maybe these will be of some use. Here's your money. Thank you.
you ain't dead yet. You're coming. Uh. Help me! Let's see about it. Yes. Let's go, bro. Pleasure to see you. Sorry, mister. My mistake. I Please! No! Oh, you bastard! What's your problem? I didn't do nothing. Money or your life? You choose. All right. Come on. All right. Damn it. You got me. Oh, here. What is wrong with you? Get enough of the place, sir? You'll find only the best of the best in there. The 
the finest fabrics for a comfortable and flattering fit. Come now, don't doubt yourself. That looks excellent on you. Got what I need. Thank you for coming. Hey, be careful. Uh, you lose the scissors in your house? Grab it. Enjoy the show, if that's possible. It's a free show, so don't come ask I just don't like how much time you're spending with the man is all. Just wait until you see his work. It's very progressive. Well, I'm not so very sure how I feel about progression. Paintings or otherwise. Come on. You won't have seen the like of it before. I promise. Maybe that's a good thing. I hold, think hold Let me compose that it's Greek. Or could be Roman. That's far too modern for my taste. Mr. Chardonnay. Look at these idiots. It's making me blow. Excuse me, Mr. Chardonnay. Couldn't you have painted some drawers on her? Madame, I paint her in her natural state, as she was and will be in paradise. There's nothing natural about that. Clothes are civilization, repression, death. To be naked is to be free, innocent, alive. Like Buddha said, you know, we are all just here to fuck. <gasps> well, that explains the decadence of those Hottentots. Hey, you got a picture of my wife here, in her delicate. <gasps> Henry, oh. is that your behind? Oh, why would you be showing it to that man? That's my mama. <gasps> as nude as the day she was born. Oh. Stop looking at my husband's buttocks. Mm -hmm. Stop looking at my mama. Well, maybe <laughs> she shouldn't expose herself like that. This is disgusting. A nerve on you. That's it. Oh, oh, come on, Mildred. This is no place for us. Come here. Hey. I am a bitch. Oh, you God. filthy little man. Oh. <laughs> oh. Come on, horse. We're leaving. Hey, I'm coming after you, Frenchie. Hey. All right. Who's <laughs> talking? <laughs> Is well and truly over. Let's get out of here. Come on, I know a place where I can disappear for a few days. This way, this way, come on. I think we are okay. The exhibition, what can you say? It was not boring. <laughs> that it was not. Archdest people, push them! I thought I was a fraud, a no-talent brush washer! Now I'm not sure! We provoke emotions, no? You keep provoking emotions like that, and all your canvases will have punch holes through. I told you I was a whole ass! <laughs> you did, and you are. Now maybe go be an asshole somewhere else for a while. <laughs> That picture I gave you, it will be worth something someday. I can feel it. Perhaps. 
Right now, it seems like the only thing it'd get me is kicking the balls. Oh, you are funny, you know. I hope to see you again sometime. My angel, my little bird, it's me! It's always the sign! <laughs> There you are. Come on, keep walking. You're late. A couple of days in this place, you turned into some clock-watching city boy. What's the urgency? We need to leave. Forever. We've been doing well, making money. But for us all to leave together, we need enough for a boat. Now, I found a friendly ship captain. He's willing to take us to Australia or Tahiti. We just need to pay for passage and give him money for land when we get there. No questions asked. We will disappear. Be reborn. Well, where the hell is Tahiti? South Pacific. An untouched paradise. Who lives there? Tahitians, I guess. We made a bit of money on that riverboat job, but not enough for us to leave and live peacefully. Where's the rest coming from? In there. So we are gonna rob that place. Well, I didn't think we was fixing the plumbing. I don't know if you have noticed, but we are on the clock. I reckon we got a few days before the Pinkerton show, and then, well, we're done. Now, we need money. Bronte said this place has got money. Come on! Ladies and gentlemen, this is a robbery. Behave as I tell you, and none of you will die. Annoy me, and you all will. Now, remember, we just want money. Don't make us kill you. You need Mr. to give me all your Leave money. Leave these fine no. folks so they're valuables. Mr. S, check that room back there. I got this one. Dying. That's your choice. Not mine. Okay. Give me everything you got. Quick. Okay. Fine, it's yours. I said open the gate and let my... No, no, I vous en supplie. Yes. There's of nothing much here. What? There's nothing really here. You're sure? Yes. Then get out here and get ready for company. All of you! Behave. Okay, you don't then, want to hurt him. Hold still. Mr. M, check the safe. Sure. Open it. I don't think they keep much cash in there. Open it! There's almost nothing here. There should be stacks of cash in there. He told us there was. Look again. There's no stacks. A few dollars in coins. That's it. Damn! We got a problem. There's a ton of cops out there. Burn down! We got you surrounded! That greasy son of a bitch! He set us up! You think? This seemed like a good time for sarcasm to you, Arthur. What are we gonna do, gentlemen? Something! The trolley. The trolley! Follow me, gentlemen! Go now! Does this trolley go to Tahiti? I hope so. Oh. All right, shoot us some space, boys. We got some in those alleyways, aren't we? End up on that balcony. We got some riders on the left. Arthur, help Lenny out. Damn. 
things broke. Hold on!
I think we're clear. You know what, Dutch? Next time, it's not damn discretion. Seemed like a good lead. I know, but... Well, we made it. <clears throat> thanks to you. Don't mention it. Yeah, you're a good kid. Well, we each got $15. Oh, and a quarter. Don't forget the quarter. Shut up, Arthur. He set us up. <clears throat> Played me like a yokel. Put the law on us? What did we do to him? What did I do to him? I guess he thinks he's the king around here. He don't want the likes of you. So, what are we doing next, Dutch? We just need money. One more decent take, and we're gone. The bank is our bet. Hosea agrees. Even after that? Uh, especially after that. Uh, I don't feel so good. Now you just got a bash on the head. Come on. I'm taking you back to camp. Hey, you did real good there, Lenny. Just wish it could have turned out better. Well, you can't win them all. There he is. How you been getting on? So oh, necklace has wake. From the ladies' house in the mansion district. So, Arthur, you get the deciding vote. About what? We take an insult and scurry off like cockroaches? Or deal with business the right way? We don't need to take revenge. We hardly know the guy. This ain't about revenge, Hosea. Angelo Bronte don't mean shit to me. This is about the fact we are planning to rob a bank in his town. A bank that he no doubt protects. A town where his men are gunning for us. 
Before we do that, we need to put him I out of commission. I disagree. There's always an easier way. There ain't no easier way. Now, I know his type. He is a vindictive little power broker who rules by fear. Now, we pull that stunt in his cesspit of a town. We're doomed. You want to leave this place? Leave this country? We need that money. I just don't feel good, Dutch. This is it. This is the last job that we are ever going to pull. Before the year is out, we are going to be harvesting mangoes in Tahiti. Oh. Farmers. But we need seed capital, and we need to leave. Yeah. You know it. I know it. Forgive me if I can't think too much about the mango harvest. This I'm... is it. Trust me. Arthur. If it's business, well, business is business. Angelo Bronte stands between us and our future. You'll damn us all. Arthur, come on. You better be right about this one. I am. Four. And usually I've been right. Uh, if you say so. Quit doubting, Arthur. Thomas, who knows these waters like the back of his hand. Why do we need a boat? So we can attack Bronte's mansion from the swamp. Catch him off guard. He knows we survived the trolley station, so he'll be expecting some kind of reprisal. All right. Okay, makes sense. See? I do still possess some capacity for rational thought, Arthur. Okay, follow me. Thank you. For what? For taking my side back there. It ain't about sides. Feels like Hosea's lost his spine. But this move on Bronte, is it for the bank job or revenge for what happened at the trolley station? Both. Neither. What does it matter? We need to hit that bank. And Bronte has the police and just about everything else in San Denis in his back pocket. He also set us up, and lest we forget, took young Jack. I understand. We just got a lot of pots on the boil, given all the folks who's out gunning for us. You all seem to have forgotten how money is made and what it takes to support 20 people, let alone what it takes to give 20 people a new life overseas. But with all due respect, Dutch, is this Tahiti plan really going to work out? You tell me, Arthur. Is it? Have some goddamn faith. I am bending over backwards to make a future for us. I know, but... But, 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 when did you become so small-minded? If you'd rather we break up the family, go our separate ways, just tell me. Of course not. This isn't a prison camp. I am not forcing anybody to stay. So either we're in this together, working together to get out together, or we're not. There simply isn't a reality in which we do nothing and get everything. I know. You're right. Just feels like we're on borrowed time again. I mean, the old Driscoll's found us. Yeah, we need to move, and soon. Haven't I made that clear? I feel like I'm going in circles with all of you. Micah is the only one left with any loyalty. Now, that ain't fair. You are talking like John. I swear that woman is poisoning him against me. I've seen it before. Anyway, here we are. Let me do the talking. Arthur, Arthur, Thomas is quite the boatman. He's gonna help us get close to our prey. The other night we had quite the adventure fishing for catfish. 
Now, my friend. Can I call in that favor? What do you need? You know Angelo Bronte. Well, exactly. We need to make a social call. We were hoping you could row us in quietly one evening around the back of his house. Well, if anyone can, I can. We'll pay you for your trouble. If you bringing him trouble, it won't be no trouble for me. Good. My business partner, Jules, he's out on the skiff. I need to check with him. Plus, I need to check the traps. Would you come with me? Of course. Arthur? Why not? Shouldn't take too long if we can find him. You live. Mind you, there's a lot of gators. Uncommon number. Big ones. Great. Come now, Arthur. It'll take more than a prehistoric reptile to scare you, Shirley. Well, I just want to see you meet your match when it comes to a, an aging predator with a big mouth, Dutch. Arthur here is something of a comedian, Thomas. More of a jester than a gunslinger. Well, if you say so, Mr. Dutch. This way. Come on, this way. Follow me here. And stay on the high ground. We call this ground? It feels like water to me. Down here, we can't be too picky there, Mr. Arthur. Got a couple of crayfish traps up ahead. Mr. Dutch, you keep a lookout for company? Mr. Arthur, check the traps with me. This one's empty. All right. I got a few more set over this way. Come on. I don't want to know what just touched my leg. Mr. Dutch, you show you the right fellas to be going after Angelo Brunson? Oh, he's much more the kind of reptile I can handle. Now stay close. Make sure you follow my line. Oh, I fully intend to, Thomas. You too, Mr. Arthur. You can see why evening swamp waiting hasn't caught on as a pastime, can't you? I love it out here. Peaceful. Nobody bothering you now. Except for the night folk sometimes. The night folk? Yep, some strange people around these parts. Wilder than the animals they are. Well, this just gets better and better. Stop where you are. It's a gator. Just stay as still as you can. All right, let's keep moving. I got another trap by that small island up here. I don't know what's taking Jules so long with that boat. I think we are all equally keen to find him. Mr. Arthur, this trap is stuck in the mud. It happens. Ooh. Guess something didn't want to be caught. My gosh. So it's true. What is? There's been talk of a big old bull, but people talk a lot of nonsense. I guess this was... No, but only some huge could do this. Oh. Fantastic. Let's hope it bites you first, Dutch. 
Should we just keep moving? I don't really want to hang around here much longer. I... I suppose just can wait. Let's go. Hold up. My God, there's no shortage of them. Good eating. Us or them? Exactly. Come on. We really should have run into jewels by now. I reckon we should split up so we can search both sides. Okay, Arthur, since you appear so at home here, you take the right. We'll go left. What? Just keep your... Someone there? No! Jules? No! Over here! That must be him. You're in a tree. What are you doing? There's a monster. A monster. You okay up there? There's a monster. Where? Master, it nearly ate me. Hey, where'd he go? It's it's out there. What? A big gator. Biggest I ever saw. Big and nasty. Knocked me off the boat and chased me over here. You must be Jules. Yes. Where is the boat? Over there. Okay. Yeah. And uh, where'd this monster swim off to? Back to the dock. Yes, please, let's go. Thank God. So, uh, who are these fellas, Thomas? Two new friends of mine. I'll explain later. Jules? We are very happy to have finally made your acquaintance. I thought I was gonna be out here all night. What was you doing hiding up in the tree, boy? This gator was huge, Thomas. Twice as big as I ever seen. Twice as angry, too. Now, oh, boy, I think we hit a tree stump. Yeah, I thought we cleared. You're gonna need to jump in and pull us free. Me? Yeah, just do it. Won't take you a minute, boy. Go on. This is a bad idea. <laughs> You'll see any giant monster <laughs> long before it gets anywhere near you. Got a couple of crack gunslingers here with the guns loaded. 
You'll be fine. You didn't see the thing. Can't lose the boat. Arthur will go. Well, quick. All 